welcome back to my channel. This video is a surreal video for me because I bought a Chanel bag. Never did I think I was ever gonna own a Chanel bag. Now, before anyone gets crazy, it is not a brand new Chanel bag. Those are crazy expensive. This is a vintage Chanel bag. It just got delivered today. I did not open it yet, so if you guys wanna open it with me on camera, then please keep watching. All right, I did not open it yet. It is completely closed. I can't show you the other side because that's my address. So you guys know I love pre-loved designer bags and I am in so many Facebook groups. I'm like in Louis Vuitton Facebook groups, Chanel, Gucci. I'm in so many Facebook groups and I actually had no intention on getting a Chanel bag. Like I've always wanted one. They're just expensive. But I always browse these groups just to see if there is a good deal that's happening and someone posted a bag and it was a great price. It looked like great condition, hopefully. I feel like I smell something through the box and I'm a little nervous. You guys know how much I hate odors on vintage bags. Like, I hate it so much. I did make sure to ask if there was an odor, just saying, but I feel like I smell something. Hopefully it's just the box. It smells like it's the box. It's Kit Kat. These are Kit Kats. That's really cool. All right, so here's the box. I don't smell anything so far, so that's good. And it has the serial number on the box that also matches the bag inside. I'm in so many Facebook groups, so I did post the pictures of this bag in this Facebook group to get people's opinions if they think it's authentic. Everyone said it is authentic. And now that I actually have the bag here, I'm also gonna do my own authentication. There's a website where you can just pay like $25, upload all the pictures of the bag, and they will let you know if it's authentic. But I also did a review of the seller. Like, you can post her name and say, has anyone purchased from her before lots of people responded it is a trusted seller on these facebook groups so let's go ahead and open it i'm nervous i don't know what duster this is okay this is what it's in i don't know if this is the original duster but it's like peeling and stuff i could ask if this is the original but she said it was <gasps> oh it looks so pretty this is a gorgeous bag we're gonna go ahead and open it what's with this freaking dust all over it from the duster this is the inside no smell Ooh, happy about that so this is what it looks like this bag is so gorgeous in person the pictures that i saw were also really beautiful but in person oh, it is stunning. So I want to give you guys a close-up. So this is what it looks like. It is the patent leather. And then when you open it up, this twist right here, it opens like that. And then this is the inside. And then this is the back. And then this is the top. I just can't believe how gorgeous this is and I got this on a, such a good sale. I'm also going to pay for the authentication tonight to be safe. You always want a peace of mind that it is authentic as much as they did have reviews on this seller. Um, you just always want to have that peace of mind as well. I didn't really have any doubts on the bag at all until, until I saw this. Like now this is giving me doubts but also I am not fairly educated on vintage bags back in the day if this was a duster so if you know please let me know um so i really didn't have any doubts i was still gonna get it authenticated anyways to be safe but this this made me feel weird <laughs> this made me feel very weird i feel like i was so excited in the beginning of this video i mean the bag is gorgeous obviously but that duster is just weird. But again, this is very vintage. This is, I think, almost 30 years old. So I probably am wrong and not educated on stuff like that was back in the day. But now I feel a little uneasy. <laughs> I don't know why. I was very excited for this bag to come. I was very excited for this unboxing. 
And like the bag is stunning, like it's gorgeous. I should be way more excited right now. The duster is giving me like a, a weird feeling. So I'm definitely, once I'm done filming here, I'm definitely gonna go do the authentication on this just to be safe. The box does have the serial number that matches on the inside, but I want that peace of mind because that duster is freaking me out right now. <laughs> I don't even wanna look at it because it's, it's creeping me out now. It's making me nervous and uneasy. I don't know how I feel right now. <laughs> I feel like I wanna end this video and go do the authentication right now because I just feel nervous. That duster is making me nervous. We're just gonna move on from the duster right now. Let's get back into this gorgeous bag. I am so obsessed with it. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is so much more gorgeous in person than it was in pictures. I love the patent leather. And again, this is the vintage Chanel mini square bag. <laughs> It's gorgeous. I love it and I just love the gold on it. It is just, oh, it's beautiful. So I'm going to end this video here. I am definitely going to go do the authentication tonight. Let me know if you guys want a part two of this video to make sure that it is authentic for all the money that I did spend on it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous though. I did pause filming before just to search up and it looks like the box of the Chanel that it came in. That is how a lot of the Chanel vintage bags did come in back then. My only concern now is the dust starts making me a little nervous, but if everything checks out, I am keeping this bag and it is absolutely stunning. So let me know if you guys want a part two. Never in my life did I think I was gonna own a Chanel bag. You honestly can get such nice bags that are pre-loved that are in great condition. I, I definitely recommend checking Facebook and joining all these designer luxury selling um, pages. It's very hard to get scammed on these because the admins check each post and if they see something weird, they're not gonna even post it so no one will be able to see it. So that is a big majority of where I did purchase a lot of my bags. Um, aside from Poshmark, I do shop on Poshmark a lot, but Poshmark, a lot of people do charge a lot with their fees since Poshmark does take 20%, which is so much. So I've really been enjoying the Facebook group. Um, that's where I got a lot of my Louis Vuitton stuff, my wallet, and... <laughs> my first Chanel. It is gorgeous. So I'm going to go ahead and do the authentication right now. Let me know if you guys want a part two of this video to determine if this is authentic. As of right now, I think it's authentic. Um, I definitely don't have any doubts and I didn't have any doubts until I saw that duster. But again, I'm not that educated on vintage bags. I could be wrong. If you know something that I don't, please let me know down below. I'll appreciate any help I can get. But I am gonna go ahead and pay for the authentication tonight. So let me know if you guys want a part two. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of my brand new Chanel bag. If you guys are enjoying Vlogmas, definitely give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. I will see you all in my next video.